the liars of a community think they have the right to assault a human being. The shitbags from foreign countries like to take over people's computers and teach people ill will. The ill will I have just discovered this morning when I went to go check the trash for some food for the birds that really do count me as their family today is being blocked by someone who is playing homeless. Someone who's marvelously overweight who seemed to already know my name. You see, a gossip in a community spreads rumors and gives out a person's name. This is not a business networking situation for me living in travel mode. When I'm in travel mode, I pick and choose who I introduce myself to. Only a highly mentally unwell person will start to piss around on someone's computers, someone's phone, or someone's life who has no rights to them at all. There is a marvelous panhandling couple, two of them actually, that display a form of mental illness. A young couple, the wife appears more mentally unstable because she is marvelously putting together signs now to produce for her family food. But they sleep all morning, come in in the afternoon when a different panhandler is on the scene who has medical issues, and then they go off before a shop closes so people like me can walk in comfortably and buy food. But her liaisons with the managers of the stores on the block are amazing. How does she do that? Does she walk in and ask for handouts? Does she walk in and give out stories? Did she walk in from a different state and pretend to be someone? Or is she a marvelous liar for the police that are trying to fuck somebody out of a life? You see, sometimes the best people in disguise are the people who are full of lies. But what I find highly offensive today is that I cannot go and pick up a piece of trash without someone being right on top of the way. But what's more offensive to me is that someone says, you are so-and-so, aren't you? It's not their right to know. When I live in my privacy of life, I have the right to introduce myself. You have the right to introduce yourself. But people do not like to walk into communities or come up to strangers to do something nice and have their notoriety already available to that person. Because most likely it was shared in a gossiping way, in a way to harm someone. The attacks I've received on my life, I'm getting from retail employees. And my question is, who the fuck told them about me? Why the fuck do they care? And more importantly, they have no fucking right on behalf of their company to discriminate or interfere with my life. 